Hi, welcome back to The Shed for episode 15 of GGBO 2022. And this time we're gonna continue working on the top of the guitar. Okay, so it's time to start work on the top, but before I've gone any further, I just wanted to check out to see how close this body shape is to the template that I made originally. And I've got it all lined up on the center lines. And actually, it's very, very close. There's a bit of a, a section here where it's just inside the template but it's not by much, it's maybe one or two millimeters. And then it just slightly pokes out past the template there. But I'm pretty sure that that could go back in. This horn is a little bit longer. And this horn is a tiny little bit shorter. But other than that, it's kind of where you'd expect it to be. So really isn't that far out the design that we wanted in the first place. Now I know a few people have said that this is kind of almost like a double cut junior shape and that the horns are almost the same length. They're not really. I think that's a trick of perspective. Most of my camera shots have come from this way. So this horn is kind of in the foreground and is made to look a bit bigger than this horn, which is in the background. In practice, this horn sticks out probably two inches further than this one. So yeah, it is more strap than double cut junior put it that way. So the big job I want to do today is to get this top kind of roughed out. Um, but before I do that, there is quite a bit of unevenness that we need to get rid of. It's not too bad on the top, but the bottom, there's quite a lot of glue and stuff that we need to take off. So I think it's time to break out a nice sharp card scraper and get this all cleaned down. Okay, so with that cleaned up a bit, there's still a few little imperfections in there, but as I said, this is gonna get carved on the top. So the vast majority of this wood is gonna get removed and any little imperfections around the center line can just get cleaned up as part of that process. So not particularly too worried about how spiffy and beautiful it is at the moment. So the next thing I suppose is to get this marked out and trim it down to size. Now, as we discussed earlier, the template is fairly close, but it's not accurate anymore. So I'm actually going to use the body to mark this out. There's my shape. So nothing else for it now, but to get over to the not wobbly anymore bandsaw and get this cut out.
Okay, so that's cut out pretty nicely. Um, it's still a little tiny little bit oversized in some places, but I don't mind that. Obviously we're gonna carve this, so the edge is only gonna be about five or six mil thick once we've done with that. So that would be very, very easy to then flush off back to the side of the body. So I haven't got a problem with that whatsoever. Now the suggestions have been flying in for people that I should recommend. Um, we've had quite a lot of those. Tonight is gonna to be someone who's a, a long time viewer and is always very active in the comments. And that's our very own Mr. Waffles. I have been following his build and it is an interesting one. And it was also suggested by another good buddy of mine and long term viewer of this channel, Dane Nichols, who, as it happens, was a massive influence to me when I was getting going in the guitar building on YouTube world. And it has to be said, he was one of the two people who kind of made me believe that I could build a 335 style guitar. And as a consequence of that, has given me the skill set to build this one as well. The other one of those being Jason Beam. So if you're ever in the market for building a 335, I would highly recommend my series, but also have a look at Dane's and Jason Beam's because they are both very, very good instructional series on how to build such a thing. Okay, the next stage with this is to start on the carve. And I'm gonna be doing it slightly differently this time than I have done in the past. I'm gonna to try to do it a little bit more freehand, which is a bit of an experiment. And like all experiments, it can go one of two ways, but we're willing to take the risk on that. I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. But that's gonna be something for next time. So as always, don't forget to check out those recommendations. I'll put links in the comments. Like if you've liked, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I will see you again tomorrow. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.